Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Embroidery Hub. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about 100% polyester fabric. And now for those of you who don't know, this type of material is the type of athletic wear, performance wear that we see requested by a lot of sports teams, a lot of uh, gym goers, and it's very popular in the custom apparel industry. And of course, um, people are attracted and want this type of fabric because it is very thin and very stretchy and it's those very same properties that cause a few complications for embroiderers. So I want to talk to you exactly about what those type of issues are and how you can solve them. Uh, it's just a few quick fixes with your back and your hooping and you should have a much better product. All right, so perhaps the most common issue when embroidering on this type of material is pinching. And now you can see that the design turns out a little wavy and there's some wrinkles near the text. That would be your pinching. And there are several ways that you can get rid of this. Well, number one, you should make sure that your, your garment is hooped properly. That means you have to really ensure that the backing is covering all the areas of the hoop. It's even more important to do so with 100% polyester. And you also need to make sure that you're not hooping too tightly, because if you are hooping too tight, it's going to stretch out the garment. And since this material has a lot of stretch, it's going to bounce right back, and that's what's going to cause the wrinkles. So we also want to make sure that you're hooping with the right stabilizer. And a lot of people use a combination of stabilizers for the certain material. And I'm going to show you right now what type of stabilizers you can use depending on your uh, needs. So you can use cutaway or tearaway backing. Now, if you do decide to use tearaway backing, I would be very careful when you are removing the tearaway because when you're tearing it off, you don't want to be pulling on the stitches. That could ruin your design. And um, what we recommend is that you use two sheets of cutaway, of course, depending on the thickness of your material and the weight of the backing. And with whatever backing that you do decide to use, uh, you should use your temporary adhesive spray. And what that'll do is that it'll help keep the garment in place so it's not moving around too much in the hoop. And uh, there is an alternative that a lot of embroiderers like to use, for, especially for this type of material, and that is the uh, poly mesh no-show backing. I have a sample right here. And so you can see that it's a lot thinner, it's softer, and you can go ahead and use, typically people use around two sheets for this. And then this will eliminate the issue that we have here we see the backing showing through. Sometimes if you want it to be cleaner and have like a nicer quality, you would go ahead and use the no-show and that should help take care of that issue. All right, so one last thing that I wanted to remind you of is that if you are gonna embroider your small text and if you're gonna work on textured garments such as this one, you wanna use your aqua top topping. And if we take a look over here, you'll see that the stitches are not showing up as well because we didn't use aqua top topping. If we did, it would come out a little bit better, a little bit clearer. That's another issue that embroiderers are facing is the design's not showing up well. And that leads me to my next issue, which is right here, if you zoom back in. Uh, well, we see that we have a little hole right here. That can be from, that can be from not using a ballpoint needle. You should make sure that you are using a ballpoint needle. We recommend smaller needles such as a 7010 ballpoint needle. However, you can use your sharp point needle. You can go ahead and try it out. With this embroidery, we are using our sharp point needle because we have um, a little bit bigger text, so it's not gonna make much of a difference. But if you're using the smaller text, it's really important that you should, you should probably use your ballpoint. So today we're gonna embroider on this little gym tank top that is also 100% polyester. And uh, we're going to start off by the hooping. Now I have my two pieces of backing here, and I'm going to just quickly spray off to the side. I don't want to. The adhesive will quickly cling onto the garment, and this is very, it's a really clingy garment, so you want to make sure that it's getting, that it's, um, that you're getting it really flat. All right, so this is the finished garments. As you can see, there's a lot of clear difference between this one and this one. This one's a lot more wrinkly, and then this one's nice and clean and flat. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel. And of course, feel free to comment if you have any questions regarding this video. 
I also want to invite you to join our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, where you can join other embroiderers and apparel decorators such as yourself. In it, you could ask questions and share tips and knowledge among one another. And for any additional information regarding our products or services, you can visit www.recoma.us. You will find all these links that I mentioned in the description below. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you back here next time.